In this lesson, we'll focus on drawing an angry expression for a human character. So let's go ahead and get started. So by being able to draw different expressions for your characters, you can really breathe a lot of life and personality into them. You can convey what they're thinking and feeling, as well as how they're reacting to other characters and situations. So I've chosen six different expressions that we're going to be focusing on in this course. Angry, happy, sad, fearful, tired, and confused. These are just a few of many, many more expressions that we could really think of. But I've chosen these because I think they're pretty common. And you may find yourself trying to convey each one of these time and again for your own characters. So what we're going to be doing is spending a couple of lessons for each one of these expressions, okay? So we're going to kind of work our way down the list here. A couple of lessons for each, starting with angry. And so we're always going to start out with our human character. So we're going to be using this kind of cartoony female that I've drawn, basically drawing those different expressions for her. On the second lesson for each expression, we'll shift gears and work on a completely different, um, very contrasting character um, and just exploring how we can take that same expression and draw it on this character, so our big-brained alien character here, as well as looking at other attributes that we can push even f uh, further to convey each one of those expressions. Also, at the end of each second lesson for each one of those expressions, I'll show you a third character that I've already worked on. So it'll be this character here. And I'll kind of talk to you about some of the decisions I made in um, just kind of conveying that particular expression. So we'll be kind of just looking at the different expressions for this guy here. And we'll be working through the expressions for those other two characters. You'll also notice I have these three different characters kind of organized over here accordingly in our layers panel. I have them each in their own respective group. So coming back to that human character, we're going to start with our angry expression. Um, this is just kind of her neutral pose, and basically you saw the neutral poses for those other two characters. And what I've done is I've duplicated this layer and retitled it Angry. And so we're going to take our brush tool and our eraser tool and begin to kind of modify her expression to make it look more angry. So you want to make sure you have your brush tool um, selected over here in your tool panel. And I'll just set up my brush really quick. I'll just right-click bringing up my brush preset picker. These are just default brushes in Photoshop. I'll just go with this hard round brush, and then I may want to jump to my brush panel. And I think I'll turn on Shape Dynamics. So this allows me to control the size of my brush tip based on how much pen pressure I apply with my stylus. I just want to make sure I have pen pressure for the control for size jitter. And then I'll also turn on Transfer. And for opacity and flow, I just want to make sure I have pen pressure as well. I kind of find that, that these settings right here make for nice sketching. All right, great. And I pretty much, um, for the eraser tool, I have the same thing. I just have transfer um, enabled for it, uh, pen pressure enabled for opacity and flow controls. So just kind of zooming in here just a little bit by hitting control equals on our keyboard. And so um, I think I'd like to start with the eyes. They say that the eyes are really the window to the soul, and you can really convey a lot of emotion through the eyes. So let's kind of start to race away here kind of parts of the eye. And so I'm thinking if she's angry, she might be kind of squinting her eyes, you know? And so we might have, just switching back to my brush tool there, we might have that top eyelid kind of coming down even further. Now right now she's starting to look kind of sleepy, but once we start working on the other facial, facial attributes, um, this will really prove useful. And so for this bottom bottom part of the eye, I may want to bring the cheek up some. And my reasoning behind this is I'm, I'm picturing her gritting her teeth. Maybe her nose is being scrunched up. A lot of scrunching happening right here in the cheek area. So it's going to kind of push up that little spot right there. And then while we're at it, I may actually just want to go ahead and erase this eye. And let's kind of give her some direction rather than having her look um, at us, the viewer. She may be looking at someone or something that's just really upsetting her. So as we work through these 
different expressions. Uh, you can feel free to follow along using these characters I've already drawn, but I actually really encourage you to, to work on your own characters and really push the expressions for those. So if you've got a character, kind of start out with a neutral pose, something that doesn't really have a lot of emotion to it. And then we can kind of go through and create these different expressions for them. So I'm doing the same thing for the opposite eye there. Basically same, same approach. Thinking about squinting her eyes. We'll kind of readjust that eye right there. So something kind of like that. Now that we've started to kind of modify the eyes, I want to think about the eyebrows. The eyebrows really allow us to channel a lot of that emotion that's coming through the eyes and kind of help direct it. So what I would like to do is just erase all of this information up here. Okay. And I want to bring these eyebrows way down. We're going to have a little bit of a kind of a furrowing of the eyebrows kind of right in here. And one thing I would also recommend when you're drawing these different expressions is maybe grab like a small mirror, like a hand mirror or something like that, and put it on your desk and just look into it and, and actually act out these different expressions and look for some of the different changes in your facial attributes. And I think that'll really help you out a lot. So just kind of bringing down those eyebrows. She's already still starting to feel a lot more angry. And we can already begin to make a comparison as to what we already have. And we're already on, well on our way to making this character look mad. Okay, so let's take this even further now and kind of focus on maybe the nose next. Okay, so she's going to kind of crinkle up that nose. And so I may want to kind of just kind of push it up slightly. It's going to kind of get bunched up just a little bit there. It may kind of drop in a couple of little crinkle lines right there. Something like that. And her cheeks might kind of come out just a little bit on that side as well. Again, everything's kind of getting scrunched up right here. And we may have kind of a little bit of a line kind of right in there to kind of complement that cheek action that's happening. All right, great. Now we want to focus on the mouth. You think of like animals in the wild, right? Um, often if it's a lion or a dog or, or, or some kind of animal like that that has um, a lot of teeth, um, they'll often show their teeth to really um, show the aggressiveness. And so you want to think about this in your characters, whether it's a human character or some bizarre alien creature. Um, that could be something that you might want to do. So let's go ahead and kind of change up the mouth here so I kind of want her gritting her teeth basically so just kind of readjusting the overall position of those lips something kind of like like that and I'm not worried about these sketchy lines being absolutely perfectly clean. I can always I can always do that in between lessons. Right now I'm just kind of trying to sculpt, basically just kind of sculpt the mouth to my liking here. So everything that we're doing, um, you don't have to just do this in Photoshop. You can do this on pencil and paper. Um, the advantage of working in Photoshop um, is we can duplicate these these neutral layers and just kind of adjust the areas that we want to. We also have some different tools like our lasso tool. If we want to kind of modify the shape of anything, we can make a selection around them. Um, in your selection, you could right click, go to free transform. If you want to kind of change around, kind of modify any of these different things if you want to. So there are you know, advantages doing it digitally. But again, um, you, don't have to, you don't have to do this in Photoshop if you don't want to. And so I'm not going to draw like all her individual teeth because that really would match the style of this character. So that's kind of why I just have kind of some of these lines 
just kind of hinting at the overall form of the teeth. All right, so that's basically our angry expression. So let's make kind of a quick comparison. So there she is, rather rather pleasant, kind of melancholy perhaps, uh, no real major emotions. And then we've taken it to something that she just seems um, just a very dissatisfied, very aggressive and angry.